We consider using Ethernet tables as the most reliable and fastest kind of home network, but even tables can go wrong, and using a table tester can solve problems with breaks or track down cheaper tables that are slowing down your network. For this workshop, we're using the RJ45 and RJ11 table tester from Maplin. It only costs £10 and it can test both network tables, that's the RJ45, and telephone tables, that's the RJ11. The table tester is actually made in two halves, and this means you can test a table that's already been installed and is hard to remove, held down by table clips, for example. It's also powered by a standard 9 volt battery. Now we're going to leave the tester in one piece to make it easier to see how it works. Plug both ends of the table in, one side into the remote and one side into the tester itself, and turn it on by pressing the button on the front. It will bleep and then test all the wires inside the table in turn. And you can see here that the light is moving downwards to show that the wires are connected. A missing light will either show that the wire is not connected or that there's a short in the table. Another thing to look out for is when the lights are not in sequence on the tester and the remote. This shows that the table is what is known as a crossover table. Most routers should be able to use both normal and crossover tables, but try using a normal table in its place to see if that's what's causing the problem. If you want to check the wires in your own time, it's possible to put the table tester into a manual mode. Hold down the button for another two seconds, and then once that's done, you can press it again to cycle through the different wires inside the table.